ricotta is an Italian dessert. It's made out of milk and cream, vanilla. I am gonna add white chocolate to it and then gelatine, put it in the fridge and then they'll set. It's a really, really nice dessert. One of my favorite desserts. 600 mils of cream into the pot. Then 150 mils of milk. That then goes in. And that is the base for our panna cotta. Now, we just want to bring that up to a almost boil. But just until you start seeing bubbles on the outside of the pot, it'll be ready. Then we have to add a vanilla pod. This grows on a type of an orchid. It's really, really quite expensive. They pick it and then they dry it out. And inside of this pod, you can see when I touch it, there's all these little black seeds. And that is real fresh vanilla. Cut it down the middle, like so, all the way down. And then take our knife and pierce it there. And then just sort of scrape all of these little seeds out. And there you can see all of those little seeds inside. So in that goes. What I do with this leftover vanilla pod is I leave it in a container of sugar. And every time I need a vanilla coffee or something, I just use the sugar that the vanilla pod's been lying in. That sort of gives all the flavor into the sugar and you've got vanilla coffee. Easy. We'll wait for that to come up to temperature. Then we've got gelatine sheets. We soak in ice water for two to three minutes. It'll soften up and then we can put it into our molten cream mixture. All right, our milk has now come up to temperatures. So it's a good sign. You can see little bubbles kicking about there. It's a good sign it's just before the boiling point. Because if we add the sugar when it's on the heat, there's a really good chance of the sugar caramelizing and your panna cotta turning um, like a light caramel color. You can make any type of panna cotta. You can make a caramel panna cotta, um, chocolate panna cotta, plain vanilla panna cotta. I am gonna use white chocolate. I can feel no more sugar at the bottom of the pan, which means all the sugars dissolve. So I've got 40 grams of white chocolate and that's the residual heat of the milk and the cream just sort of melt that very slowly. And just keep it moving. Um, because I'm adding white chocolate, which is all very, very, very sweet, I've lessened the sugar and just added the white chocolate to it. Our gelatine has now softened. Okay, all of the liquids out, and that sort of goes in like that. And you can see it's still quite watery. So we pour this into the mold straight away. All of the vanilla seeds are going to drop down to the bottom. And the key here is just to put it in the fridge for 20 minutes, half an hour, until it becomes a little bit thicker. We'll stir it, the seeds will be dispersed through the mold, all nice and neatly. So everything's in here, gelatine, it's a bit warm. So we'll get it in the fridge and let it thicken up and then we'll pour it into our mold. Those are done, we just get them in the fridge two or three hours and they'll be like a milk and white chocolate jelly and that'll be perfect. <laughs>